With the RMAC women's basketball season right around the corner, on this week's Roundup, we'll give you the rundown. Here we go. Adam State, not a lot of returning seniors on this team. Head coach Jamie Green has a young squad and her work cut out for her. At Black Hill State, head coach Mark Knorr has only a handful of upperclassmen, and this is looking to be a building year for them. At Shadron State, they have a freshman sophomore heavy team. Head coach Janet Raymer has her work cut out for her as well. The exact opposite is for Colorado Christian. With a junior-senior heavy squad, head coach Corey Laster has experience. Let's see if it pays off. Colorado Mesa, the 2018-19 RMAC champs, looking for a repeat as head coach Taylor Wagner has a lot of returning players. The Colorado School of Mines squad has three upperclassmen. Head coach Brittany Simpson, with her young squad, has her work cut out for her as well. Colorado State University Pueblo, plenty of experience on that team, which should have head coach Tommy Johnson pretty confident they can make a good run. Dixie State also has a good mix of experience on their squad, which should have head coach J. Augustin feeling comfortable going into the season. Fort Lewis also has a good balance of youth and upperclassmen on their squad. Head coach Orlando Griego looks to be competitive. New Mexico Highlands has one of the youngest teams in the RMAC, headed up by head coach Joseph Anders. Regis University, also a freshman heavy team, head coach Molly Merrim needs juniors and seniors to show them the ropes. South Dakota School of Mines also has a good balance of experience. Head coach Jerry Jacobson's squad is looking formidable this year. UCCS has a handful of juniors and seniors. Head coach Lynn Pelt needs them to step up and help the freshmen with their young squad. Western, with a lot of experience on this squad, as well as upperclassmen, head coach Laura Wessling is looking very competitive for this season. Westminster, the number two RMAC team last year, has a lot of returning players. Head coach Shelley Gerard is looking to claim that number one spot. And finally, we have our very own Tristan Swan with Lady Road Runners basketball head coach Tanya Have for more on the upcoming season. Basketball season is right around the corner, and I had the chance to talk to Coach Tanya Have, and here's what she had to say about the upcoming basketball season. Check it out. What's the most exciting part about having a new team come in? I think kind of trying to see what you can, how you can mold them, what they can do. Uh, they're very enthusiastic, got great personality. So I think some of those things, just what, what can we do? How far can they do? And, and kind of figuring out the pieces to the puzzle, so to speak. With that new team, how deep do you think your bench is? I think right now we probably go eight or nine, nine or well, probably nine or 10 deep. We'll probably have to go nine or 10 deep. Our roster's at 12 right now. I'd say nine or 10. Your RMAC rivalry or what RMAC? Regis traditionally has been, and that's who happened to beat us last year on our home floor. It was a little disappointing, but you know, things like that happened. We couldn't get some shots to fall and they had a shot that fell at the end of the buzzer that normally wouldn't go in. A bank shot from the probably 30 feet. So that kind of got that form. Good for them. Uh, but I'd say Regis right now is our biggest rival. Regis is your biggest rival. What other RMAC um, competitors are you looking forward to matching up with? You know, Mesa's the defending champion. Uh, they're always a tough matchup. Westminster, I think, is going to be a very outstanding. Black Hills, Colorado School of Mines. Those are some of our rivals because they're, they're always traditionally really good. CSU Pueblo, UCCS has always given us a tough, tough time. And then of course, Colorado Christian, they're in all the Denver schools. Traditionally rivals at all the Denver schools. Can you tell us a little about, about your returners? So our top returner right now would be our lone starter would be sophomore Jaden Galloway from Grandview High School, point guard. We'll be looking to her for a lot for leadership. She's a great defender. And then our other top returner is gonna be Bree Wellington, our only senior, uh, average around six points a game. We'll be looking for her to for leadership, scoring. But again, as I mentioned earlier, we lost 44 points. You know, Jalen Smith, our top scorer, Emily Hardigan, 
uh, Johnny, Jonathan Whitwer and Michaela Gonzalez, they averaged 44 points a game of our 65. So we're looking to replace that. Some of that scoring I think is gonna come from one, uh, most of our posts, some of our post players, junior Leah Harvey and then junior Kamari Toya. Those will be some players to, to look for. And going into the basketball season, just overall, what's the most exciting part for you as a coach? That we get to play basketball again. For Army at Roundup, I'm Tristan Swan. Thank you, Tristan, and thank you, viewers. Make sure you tune in next week for the RMAC football update here on the RMAC Roundup. And also make sure to tune into the Met Report and Noticiero for more in-depth coverage of sports from around the world. You can find them on Comcast Channel 58, Campus Channel 20, and as always on MyMetMedia.com. Well, that's it for us this week on RMAC Roundup. I'm David Mann.